That was all within one turn, by the way. Alright, I'm going to showcase to you the APEP 2.0 team. A three turn run. But it is very RNG dependent. The requirements for the team, you need Embla, you need Daji, and you need Jingwei. This spot right here is flexible, but ideally you want a unit that has multiple uh, hits on their S1. You can go with Raven, you can go with... Uh, yeah, even Chloe could do well, uh, but it's a little bit more RNG because you want multi-hits. Chloe only has two hits. You could go with Lucas as well if you want to. Lucas would be pretty good as well. And then for the required talent tree, the most important one, the one that allows you to get three turns is this one. Just Retribution. 75% chance of cutting attacking the target upon taking hits. If the, if the target is Daji, the chance is 100%. So this one, you can now counter-attack uh, APEP when he counter-attacks you, which means when you do multiple hits and you proc his 7-hit uh, effects, he will then counter-attack you, but then you have a 75% chance to counter-attack him back on all of your units, right? This is the one that allows you to keep on counter-attacking him. And then the next one, if you don't have a Raven, this one is also a must. When the caster deals damage with attack abilities, Except basic abilities during the turn, 100% chance of calling in the Esper with the highest defense to launch and assist attack. This is the reason why you want Feng Shun to have the highest defense in your team. And I will show you in a bit why you want him to assist with this um, talent tree right here. And then the rest is just damage increase. I went for this one, Blood Sacrifice. This one is also very good. When dealing damage, every 1% of HP loss, uh, the damage is increased by 0.7% up to 70%, right? Is very good and also if you want to reduce your RNG even further then you can take this one deadly interdiction but this one costs too much three for 100% chance of uh, disease when you already have Embla this one is not needed this one is also going to be very good all aspects damage increase and then also at elemental advantage Daji's damage is also greatly increased this one is going to be a very good damage uh, booster this one is also going to be very good as well. Damage of Espers plus 30%. And then, yeah. You can remove all of the defensive one. Like this one, I'm probably going to remove uh, Espers damage taken minus 50%. I can remove that one. And then this one is also pretty decent. Espers crit rate plus 50% plus 50% attack as well. This one is also going to be very good. Uh, damage taken by enemies with disease plus 15%. So the sets just give Brewster as much damage as possible and a little bit of accuracy. Um, Embla also with a little bit of accuracy because you need to land the disease debuff otherwise the boss will just keep on healing back up Narmer is on the harmony set you don't need to run an armor you can also run Donar which I'll use in a bit yeah he's on the harmony set just enough damage to, to one shot Daji is on the nether set because she is the only one in the team that can die everyone else in the team cannot die due to her funeral rite stacks um, I'll show you in a bit. Jingwei, you can use any set, uh, but I went with another set. Again, it doesn't really matter what set you use her on her. Just give her less defense than your Feng Shun. And then also a little bit of accuracy for her to land the Seer debuff. Feng Shun, give him as much damage as possible. And also the highest defense. And then I'm also giving him Aegis set to give uh, Narmer one buff so that he can reset his S3. First and second wave will be the exact same. Narmer will cleave... Uh, these two waves right here and then on the boss wave this is why you want your Feng Shun to Pursuit so Narmer is one hit right here you need to do seven hits for the boss to counter attack you back there we go that is the reason why you want Feng Shun to uh, assist attack the boss counter attacks and then now you just hope for 75% chance to proc on all of your Espers and then um, take a look at my Feng Shun and my Jing Wei they will die and they will stay at 0 HP. There we go. Uh, basically, all of my units will stay at 0 HP. But they won't die because this is all within one turn. My enemies, uh, my allies won't take a turn. As long as the boss can keep on countering me. And then I can keep on countering back the boss. So there we go. That's all within one turn. And the reason why you, you want Daji to be on the nether set is because you don't want her to die. She adds a lot of damage to her counter attacks. Yeah, she is not protected by her own passive, right? Unless you have her at R6, then you could do it. There we go, three turns, simple. Oh, I just realized, Dona cannot be used because if I use him, he will have higher defense than my Feng Shun and my Feng Shun would not assist attack. 
Let me just show you real quick. He can one shot the first two waves, but in the boss wave, the reason why I'm running Feng Shun to begin with is for him to assist right on the first hit. But since Dronar has the highest uh, defense in the team, he my uh, Feng Shun will not assist. See, and when Feng Shun doesn't assist, I don't proc the boss's counter, and yeah, that's the reason why Dronar cannot be used. Unless you have a Raven, Raven can use her passive and then do two additional hits on the boss, that could work. But no worries, if you don't have a built out Narmer, then you can use Leora. Leora is also a very good option. Um, you need at least 150 speed on your first nuker right here, on the wave clearer, because the boss has uh, 150 speed. So there we go, we still one shot the second wave as well. And then on the boss wave, we do basically what Narmer is doing for this team, which is clear the first two waves and then do uh, an attack for your Feng Shun to assist attack from the talent tree, right? And then at this point, you just need to rely on luck. We didn't get lucky. My Liora, my Jingwei and my Feng Shun didn't counter attack. So I couldn't cycle the counter attack procs that the boss does and then I cannot counter attack the boss. Yeah. It is RNG at the end of the day. You need to proc 75% chance for about 2 to 3 cycle depending on how well built your team is. If you have a really strong team, then you only need to cycle the 75% counter chance on maybe like 2 cycles. Yeah, this one we're only gonna get 4 turns. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's basically the gist of it. Let me just show you the, the normal team once again. Daji is needed. Without Daji, you cannot keep counter-attacking the boss because uh, you don't have that cheat death mechanic. The cheat death mechanic that she provides to the entire team is what allows you to continuously and perpetually counter-attack the boss when the boss counter-attacks you, right? Um, without her, she, it, this team would not work. And without Embla, you would need to go for the disease talent tree, the last one on the, the bottom right. You would need that one. Um, or you can also use a Joser, but it's gonna require a little bit more RG because Embla to this team adds a lot of DPS. I'll show you the damage layout after this. Um, she's not only providing the disease debuff, she's also providing you with a lot of damage. Because every time the, the seed procs, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, this one we also got unlucky. We didn't cycle the counter attacks that much. Yeah, it's a 4 turn run. Let me show you the damage layout. Here we go. Embla did 1.3 million. R0 Embla should do just fine. Um, but R6 is going to be easier for you to proc the seed. But again, it doesn't really matter because your biggest RNG is for Yushu and Feng Shun to proc their counter attack. That's your biggest RNG. R0 Embla can, can work. Yeah, the, the leaderboard right now is all three turns. Um, I speculate that by the end of the season everyone is going to get three turns because this one is simple to get three turns it's just whether you get uh, the right rng to proc that 75 percent chance to counter attack or not right at this point most people have already gotten uh daji which unlocks you the strategy without daji this team cannot work yeah as you can see all the way up to 50 Currently, we have 10 turns, but it's still the first day of difficulty 11 unlocking. So, by the end of the event, we're probably going to get 3 turns on every single one. But yeah, that's about it. Ciao.